Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is January the 3rd, and we are going to sell our pallets. Um, So, let's see. Let's look at the pricing. So, lettuce is our big one, and uh, fortunately, Mama Joe's Farmer's Market has the best price at the moment. Um, she's just right over there. So, because that's so close, I don't even think I'm going to bother using Auto Drive for that. I think we're just going to run it over there and um what we could do though yeah it might it might still be it's worth doing auto drive i guess I'm trying to think because we could be loading one truck while one another one's unloading and vice versa um the thing is though is that the strawberries and the tomatoes are at mama joe's market just across the road so they're both really they're all really close to us so trying to think if it's worth it to do auto drive because you know well what i could do is i could still send the trucks back to the warehouse um gotta think about this for a second Okay, well, here, let's climb in. Let's climb in the truck here. Uh, well, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and start off. I want to get the lettuce done first because it's by far the most valuable. Um, and, you know, I don't want the price to change before we're ready for it to. Okay, so let's go to lettuce um, here. And we want to go down to the distribution warehouse. Uh, now they've changed this to where uh, instead of storing, you, you, there's also a storing mode too, uh, but it's now called spawning, which makes a little bit more sense. So we're just going to set the mode to spawning and it sh should, yep, there it goes. So it should start coming out. Okay, so let's hop on in here and start loading up. The lettuce here. Do so we have to wait for it to 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 spawn like the next batch, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But you know what, though, if I catch it like right now, it should just keep continuously spawning. Well, the problem is my truck will load it quicker. Yeah, but it still start, it keeps coming out, so it does speed things up a little bit. Okay, so what we'll do now is just pull out here. I'm, I'm just trying to, again, I'm, I'm just sort of kind of thinking out loud here as to whether or not it's worth it to do auto drive for this or not. So if we did do auto drive, we'd, we'd probably pull around through here. Um, oh. My um, steering wheel rotation is all screwed up again. So what else is that, right? So we probably drive through here. We might need to move the flatbed trailer there out of the way. And then just pull right up to here. And that actually works okay because we already have the side open. Okay, yeah, I think I think that might be worth doing. And then we can just pop right out there on the road and circle back around to the next area. So it's just really going to be kind of a matter of figuring out where the best waypoint spot is going to be, which is probably kind of where I'm at, too. And I, I could... I can also get in a little closer, to, uh, too, I think, when we actually set the path up. I'm glad the best price is here because it's so close, you know. Oh, we're a little far 
out. So we're going to really have to get in close to get all this offloaded. Okay, I wasn't really paying attention to the money, but we can tell what we got from one load just by looking here at our produce uh, sales. Um, production cost sold products. Yeah, so we got $34,301 from that one load of lettuce. Okay, so let's do this. Let's drive this guy back over here. And we'll set up a path for this. So we already got a path, you know, that takes us to the load area. And we can actually activate that right now. Because it lines it up pretty good. And then we'll record a new path going over there. Start loading. I'm going to turn the editor on so we can see the nodes. I wish there was a way you could speed this part of it up. But at least if you catch it before it's completely unloaded, it'll keep going and it won't stop for that really long pause that it does. So that's nice. Yeah, that should fill us up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out to here. We're going to branch off of this node here. Okay, so let's start recording and we'll connect those two up. And then we'll kind of just follow our little tracks here that we made. Except for that I got to turn in a little bit better than I did last time. Uh, yeah, we want to turn in here. What are we? Oh, we hit that stupid thing. Okay. Um, all right. Let's stop the recording and delete this. And I need to get this trailer out of the way too. So we're just gonna pull it. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> okay. Hold on. Give me the. Give me this part. And you just kind of come right on up here and stay off the path. We're going to need to uh, use that trailer later anyway. Okay, so let's back up. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to... Well, hold on a sec. Kind of get back in more or less in line with what we were doing. Okay, we're also going to delete this one. And we'll start recording here. And let's move this over to about there and join those up. in here. Oh, I got a route coming through there, but it's going the other direction. OK. 
Okay, so we need to get in as close as we can. Oh! <laughs> Crap. Okay, so... Um, turn the recorder off. And move that over. Well, it doesn't want to move over because the trailer's in the way. Okay. Let's back up a little bit. Okay, move this over a little bit, that over a little bit, and this over a little bit. Okay, record here. And I think we want to stop probably it's still pulling the front. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so that's a little too far. Oh, actually here, let's, let's just do this. Let's go... Um, here, and we're going to call this MJ's Farmer's Market. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, so if we... Uh, well, here, let's finish out the path, pathing first. So that... That's an incoming path there, so we're going to have to come back out onto the road. Okay, let's stop the recording here. And this is our last node. And we just want to join that up to here. That should work. Okay. Now, let's back up. Well, actually, yeah, I gotta test this because I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna make that turn. So let's just pull back around this way. Here, while we're here, we might as well grab another load, eh? Okay. We're filled up. Um, let's just actually start it right here. So I want to go into here. MJ's Farmer's Market should go into pallet sales. All right, and we'll select that. Can't reach MJ's Farmer's Market. Okay, so we have a broken link somewhere. So let's see if we can figure out where that's at. This all looks good through here. It's probably up by the market itself because when I had had to reverse back, um, I think I messed it up at that point. Oh, a little route there is broken. Let's fix that. Okay. So this is looking okay so far. It's gets really messy in through here. We should probably delete all of this and just make a two-way path through here. Yep, there's the break right there. Okay, so let's... Let's just delete this and connect that to there. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to back up a little bit because I want to see if it can make this turn here. Okay, that's far enough. Still can't reach it. Okay, so we still have a broken link. Uh, okay, let's see if we can figure out where it's at. Does everything look okay through here?
Yeah, this should all be okay because we just we just drove through here and recorded. So let's get up to the first node on this path. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it, this is working. So we have breakage. Oh, that, <laughs> that's really close. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to see if that's enough to get the front pallets, which it is. I have a feeling like we could probably even go a little bit further ahead, but... Okay, and then we just have to manually pull it forward to get the rest of it because it's just the trailer is so long compared to the, you know, the trigger load area. Okay, and then we should be able to send you back to the pallet load area. I went the wrong direction. Okay, so that's all working. So we just have a broken link somewhere along that mess of a route there. So we're gonna have to try and figure out where exactly it's at. Okay, so it seems to be working now. I didn't change anything, uh, but I, I activated again and now it's working. So I don't know what happened there, but I think we're okay now. Let's just watch it though and see what it does. So it should be able to get through here, no problem. It's around that little corner there, okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a second MJ's Farmer's Market a little further up. And if we position it correctly, it should be good enough to get all of the rest of the pallets. Okay, so let's pull up to... Well, let's actually just try this next node right where it is and see if that works at all. All right, so we're going to do... MJ's Farmer's Market 2. Uh, looks like we've already offloaded everything else. So that might... Well, actually, yeah, we'll just try it and see. It might be perfect. Okay, so we'll let that offload. And in the meantime, uh, we'll change this to Market 2, which should go right down there and then let's just send it to market two and see if that's where we need to be I think it is I think it's gonna be just about right but if it isn't we can always adjust it nope it's it's not getting those last pallets okay so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab this and we're going to drag it forward to about here. And then pull it forward to there. Let's see if it gets the end pallets. It should. It should. Yeah. Okay. That should work. That should work. Okay. So let's set you back to... Whoops. Um, we want you to be pallet load right here. And while he's getting staged, we're going to jump in the rental, uh, which is right here. And let's go ahead and lease ourselves a, another reefer. That's $29,000. Okay. How much does that cost to lease? Oh, only 1500 bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, 
Okay, that should work. So let's just go to... Uh, pallet warehouse load. And it should just uh, queue up behind the first truck. Okay. Let's load up. Okay, so now we're going to send you to MJ's Farmer's Market. And he'll pull up and get positioned. Very good. Okay, we need to um, open the trailer side. So let's see. Nope, not that side. There we go. Okay, let's load up. Okay, I want you to go to MJ's Market 1, and then we'll teleport over to you and tell you to go to MJ's Market 2. Which should take the rest of the pallets. Let's get um, the next waypoint queued up while we're waiting here. And it's empty. All right. Nice. Yeah, I think we got ourselves a system here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, except for... Oh, you know what? I didn't tell this guy to slow down on corners. Or gal, as the case may be. Um, here, let's do this. Let's go F10 flip vehicle. Oh, great. Okay, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, first thing we got to do is we have to go here and go to here and tell I have the corner speed set to 70% on the other one. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now what we have to do is, can I reload this stuff? I think I have to have that curtain side open to do that. Let's close this side. Oh, look at the, <laughs> those pallets stuck on the side there. For goodness sakes. Nope. There we go. Okay, now. Man, none of them want to load. Oh, I know why, because I think the straps are in the way. Nope, they still don't want to load. We got one of them to load. Oh, for goodness sakes. Come on, game. Work with me here. Okay, I'm going to have to do it this way, I guess. All right, guys, uh, we are back in business here. And this truck, I, I'm just going to keep out, keep an eye on this truck, make sure it doesn't take that corner too fast. It shouldn't uh, because we changed it to 70%, which is what the other one is. But let's just watch it and make sure. It must have just been bare luxury here, man. Goodness gracious. Okay, yeah, that looks much better. Cool. Okay, let's hop over to... Um, our other truck. Okay. And uh, it's just now finishing that, and then we're going to send it to the second waypoint as soon as that's done. Yeah, this is working out reasonably well, I would say. We're over 600... 
thousand dollars now. Good. Okay. Now you go back to pallet warehouse load. For you to unload. Okay. And then we want you to go to here. All right, cool. Just past six hundred and fifty thousand. And you're done, so you can go back to pallet load. And we'll load up the next the next batch here. All right, looks like that's it for the lettuce. Uh, let's just double check here. Lettuce is, yep, down to 350 liters. Okay, cool. Uh, so we want to set open production menu. Uh, we want to set the lettuce back to distributing. And next is going to be tomatoes and strawberries. And I, uh, last time I looked, that was Mama Joe's diner for both of those. But let's see if it's changed uh, since then. Uh, okay, so tomatoes, 592. Yeah, so still Mama Joe's for tomatoes. And for strawberries, we have uh, 290 and yep, yeah, that's still the best price too. Okay, so both in both cases, Mama Joe's Market, uh, which is good because that's also close. And I already have, whoops, I already have a route set up for that. So let's finish the lettuce off here. Let uh, you go back to Mama Joe's Market. And we'll do the, I guess we'll do the tomatoes next. It doesn't really matter which, since they're both going to the same place. Open production menu, go to tomatoes, change output mode to spawning. There we go. Now I might need to... Wait a minute. What? What's going on here? Oh, there they go. That was weird. Uh, we might need to do a, a little bit of adjustment at um, Mama Joe's Diner, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Why is that taking so long to, to come out of there? That's really weird. Okay. We want you to go to two. And we'll finish selling this lettuce off. Okay, back to pallet warehouse load for you. Let's get back to the other man truck, and I don't know why this is taking so long to come out, but okay. Let's look and see how we did on the lettuce sold product. So we made three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars and change off the lettuce alone. So not too bad. We're currently up to six eighty-one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to MJ's Diner Unload. Oh, okay, so we we have a broken link somewhere, so we're going to have to figure this one out. So let's turn this back on. And um, so this route actually goes out around along the street uh, 
I wonder though if here let's let's actually get this guy started loading. Okay. I wonder though if it would actually be quicker to go this way. See the thing is is auto drive will take the shortest route, so it it could it might actually select this this way instead but let's just let's drive out that way again okay so I'd like to know where the link is broken oh we're gonna do something else too this uh this tree gets in the way so we're gonna just delete it like permanently delete it Goodbye. Go away. Okay. And this is also going to get in the way, so let's just move it over. We'll move this one over too. Sorry, Mama Joe. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so I got to figure out where this link is broken. But it might, it's probably going to be quicker actually for it to come this way. Anyway, so if we back up a little bit. Yeah, except for, you know what, though, we don't want it to, we don't want it to make the little curve into the farmer's market. So if, if we're going to have it come this way, we're going to have to make another path here. But, okay, before we do that, though, I, I want to find out why the other one's broken. Because I had it working, so something's happened to it. So let's figure that one out first. We should... Okay, so that... It's not letting us get through. So let's follow this path here. And see if we can figure out where it's broken. It's probably, my guess is it's probably going to be up at the, one of the intersections. Uh, let's look here. Okay, so that's good going through there because this one lit up over here. Um, let's get the line there. Okay, so still broken. So come along this way. Make that curve. And that merges into this lane. And I'll bet you we have to be in the far lane. Okay, so... Think that's what the problem is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take <coughs> this and hook it up into. Hold on a sec. I have to see the the next uh, node there. Should be that one there, I think. Okay, so if we just take this and connect it to there. Now let's see if that works. We'll back up a little bit. There we go. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what it was. So when I, this was one of the first ones I set up, so I was still, you know, trying to figure stuff out. And I, I just set it up for this left lane instead of the right lane too. Okay, now let's watch and see how our positioning is because, again, we might need to adjust this a little bit. And we might want to make a, a a double waypoint over here too, just like we did at the farmer's market. I have a feeling like that's going to be a little too far forward. see what's going on here. 
The tomatoes take such a long time to load too. Yeah, I think we're mi missing like the first three pallets. And the back ones too, okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna back up, back the truck up. Here, let's back it up even further because I don't want it to offload quite yet. All right, now let's let's delete this and move this back to about here. Okay, now have the truck pull up to there. We want to make sure it'll get all of the front pallets. Don't think it's getting the very front pallets. So we're gonna have to move it back just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so let's move this back to here. Okay, now is it going to get the front pallets? Yeah, it got them. Okay, good. All right, so that's where our first point is. Now, um, let's keep this straighter and I'm gonna guess that this is the one we want for the second waypoint here let me look at something so where exactly do you stop you stop with the thingy right over the middle of the cab so if we stop with this right over the middle of the cab is that gonna get the rear pallets it looks like it will I think we're good. Let's just wait and... Okay, good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, MJ's Diner Unload 2. Just like we did before. Okay, now you... Go back to pallet warehouse load. You gonna clear all that? Yeah. That's why I had to move those tables out of the way. And let's switch to the other man now. Right here. And keep loading here. Okay. Now we should be able to go to MJ's diner unload. Well, that one's in route. Let's start loading this one. Okay, it looks like we're finished with the tomatoes. So let's switch over to the strawberries now. We want to set the tomatoes back to distributing and the strawberries to spawning. We'll stick with this guy until he's fully loaded, and then we'll go move the first guy up. Okay. Okay, we want you now to go to MJ's... Oh, we need to move that down into the folder. Uh, so this should go down into the pallet folder, and that should put it right, no, pallet sales. Why isn't that moving? So I guess we will not worry about it for now. Wait a minute. 
All right, what the heck's going on? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I don't know why that happened. Okay, let's set you back to MJ's Diner Unload. Why the heck aren't... Oh. Are we, are we just a little too far forward here? Yes, we are. Okay. So we're going to have to move this back just a smidge. Maybe to there. Okay, so now if we tell you to go to MJ's 2, you should just pull forward and stop. There. I don't know why the other one didn't do that. Okay, we may still need to adjust this. Let's watch and see. if Is it getting the very last pallets? I think it is. Maybe? Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, great. Okay, so that's, that's in a good spot. Okay, so we just need to tell this to go back to Pallet Warehouse. And we want you to go to MJ's 2. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we were past it the last time. That's probably what it was. Yeah, we're probably just a little ways past it. Our strawberries are finally finished. Uh, so let's go back into here and set those to distributing. And we got almost got another full load. And then we'll send you to MJ's Diner and go grab the other truck. Yeah, it's like a we're just a little too far forward on uh, this waypoint, so let's move it back to here. Okay, is that getting the front pallets? Looks like it is. It's having trouble uh, getting the middle pallets though too, so I'm still kind of trying to fine tune these two waypoints. I was able to get the MJ Steiner unload two in that folder finally too. I don't know why it wasn't working the first time, but okay. So this might be too far forward for those center pallets. Yeah, it looks like it is. So I'm gonna have to back up just a little bit. So yeah, I just gotta tweak it a little bit more. Um, if we just back this up to here, let's try that. No, 
Well, I'm gonna have to manually back it up to get it back in the trigger point there. There we go. All right, let's send you back to, well, I went the wrong direction there. And our final load of strawberries. We are at three quarters of a million dollars. No, we still have some more stuff to sell though too, so we're not done. I don't think we're gonna hit a million, but by the time we sell the other stuff, we're probably, I'm guessing, probably gonna be around 850 to 900,000. Excuse me, okay, that's a good spot there, because we got the front pallets. Uh, but also got the another row back from what it was doing before, too. All right, so let's send you to this waypoint. Is it? Uh, yeah, looks like it is getting the middle pallets. So I, that looks pretty good. I think we got that set up just about right. Okay, so that is it for the rented man truck and reefer. So we can actually return these now. We don't need to keep them for the rest of the stuff. Uh, so let's return you. And the... What happened to my, my mouse? My mouse disappeared. And we'll return you also. Very good. Okay. So let's go back to here. All right, so we are actually f finished with this. Let's also get rid of all of this stuff. And we're gonna back you into the shed here. Okay, let's hop in our pickup truck and go get our small trailer. And we'll see, we have cake, butter, maybe, cho yeah, chocolate, and milk, I think are the things we're going to sell. Okay, so let's take a look at the prices here. So we want to go to here. And the first thing we want to look at is we don't want to do eggs. Uh, we'll do milk in the tanker later. Uh, flour and bread. We sold those in December, so we're going to leave those alone. Uh, cake is not at its all-time high but it's still pretty good right now so 3603 is the all-time high we could sell it for 3554 mj's mini mart uh, which is just right in our own yard here so yeah let's do let's just do it okay open production menu um Cake. Okay, I want all of it. Six pallets. So we made about eight thousand dollars ish on that. Okay. Okay, next thing I think is butter. Butter is not too bad right now. And best price is 967, 974, 982, 996 at Mama Joe's Farmer's Market. Okay, so yeah, that's what we'll do. Mama Joe's. Many pallets you got.
7,583 bucks. All right. Uh, next is chocolate, I think. I think that's the next thing we're going to do. Chocolate. Oh, I think we're going to do cheese also. Um, but let's do chocolate next. Where is it? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Right here. Um, yep, January's best price. And it looks like the red marble is going to give us the best price on the chocolate. Okay, what about the cheese? Uh, is this a good time for cheese? Yeah, it's a pretty good time. On 1940 or 1966 at Johnson's. Look like Johnson's has the best price on cheese. All right, 4900 off the cheese. Seventeen thousand three hundred forty-nine off the chocolate. That's pretty good. All right. Last thing is milk. All right. We cleared eight hundred thousand. Nice. And made seventy-nine twenty-seven off that milk. So, uh, we end our January sales with $803,462. We have paid the bank off. Um, I have to figure out how many actual loads we did, bail and pallet loads. I'll, I'll count that up when I'm editing, because uh, we'll have to pay our workers for that, as usual. And then, of course, we owe our pallet worker uh, sixty four hundred dollars because I didn't pay him for oh, excuse me for December I forgot to so we'll get all that stuff taken care of and that'll leave us with you know just shy of, of eight hundred thousand and then uh, the plan is that we're going to invest in some fermenting silos and we're going to start doing our our silage and our hay loose and see see how that goes because um, we've you know pretty much done hay just about every other way uh, so I want to try that method too especially you know now you know with auto drive and course play we can automate a whole lot of that and um, I, I think it's gonna ultimately you know be the best way to do it uh, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll we'll just try it and see. You know how it goes. There might be. It might end up that it's not the best way to do it. But I won't know until I try. So, seems to me like it probably will be if we if we do it right. So, that is the plan, guys. Um, and then, depending upon how much money we have left over after that, uh, I want to continue expanding. You know our fields. Get some more large fields. Uh, um, I'm hoping that the computer farmers will will plant some sugar beets this year. That none of them planted any sugar beets at all, but it didn't really mess us up because our, the sugar that we had lasted a long time. In fact, we're still uh, I think I think we even still have some, which is unusual. You'd think that would have run out by now, but no. Look, I still have sugar in uh, the bakery and in the dairy. It's it. It's almost like it just barely uses it. I mean, the dairy goes through milk like crazy. Um, you know, I have to fill, I have to put milk in the dairy every month, pretty much. But the sugar, yeah, I don't know. I'm not complaining about it though, for sure. But I would like to get uh, a sugar beet field of our own, and you know, start producing sugar again, because we can sell the sugar itself in addition to you know what we need for our productions. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking at. And then, again, depending upon how money goes and, that, and whatnot, um, I want to continue expanding our grain, uh, grain too. 
um, so that we can, you know, sell excess flour and, and that sort of thing and even, you know, and have grain for the chickens and, and everything else. So uh, looking forward to, excuse me, harvesting Bill 54 over here. Oh, sorry, a little 57, 54, 57. What, what is this field? It's 57. So this is our big, enormous field that we purchased, and we have our big, enormous combine that we bought too, which is exciting. So we'll be harvesting this in, I think April is when we harvest the barley. So fun stuff. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you guys go here, and I gotta go to bed because I'm really tired. But uh, it was a good day. Man, we, we, we got a nice little chunk of change. We got the bank paid off, and uh, I, I feel good about uh, our prospects. So with that, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.